Good morning everyone and welcome to Saturday's video. This is an extremely special video for me to film. Today I'm going to take you on a journey and I am going to show you an interview that I had with a remarkable family that used to be Amish. They used to be Amish and now they're changing the world. This is exclusive footage that I have filmed for all of you. It is not just one video, in fact it's going to be a series of videos involving a very special family here that's local to us. Five years ago, I started with this ministry and showing you boxes of food and showing you how you can take food that normally would be maybe discarded and you can turn it into meals for your family. My channel is all about sharing with the world how they can live a very frugal life. Today, I'm going to be showing you the scenes well, the behind the scenes of a video interview that they done with me. When their video, which is professionally done, will be uploaded, I of course will be sharing that with you all. This is just one video and many videos where you are going to see a family that was Amish and they are changing the world. Here is the video. Okay. okay. So what it all started was when I was working with Grace Chapel five years ago, and that's how I got affiliated and learned about yeah. your your ministry. Well, you took. We were, I'm going to show you this here. Let me get this out. Let's just start putting all this maybe back on here. So this is the lard that came from the bacon ends. This okay. is shelf stable. Yeah. It's canned because yeah. I poured it in hot, and then this. I turned into. So nice. Okay, so you might want to hold it that so you don't. It, it smells so, really. So, so. So is that made from what? From the lard? From the lard and lye, okay. the old fashioned lye, and some essential oils. Wow. <laughs> and yeah. that's the kind of things that I teach yeah. on my channel. We're good. And she has apple pie filling too, so. Okay. Gonna and we have apple pie, yeah. and that's with the apples. Yep. Well, maybe that's why I didn't get a script from Shelby. She, usually I get a, a, at least an outline that I can follow from Shelby. But well, well, there you go. You just got a condensed version we'll, of we'll, it. We'll wing it this morning. That's fine. <laughs> so, Dave, Dave, do you have like a PowerPoint? I do not. You don't? No, this morning to, to reach your cameras. Oh. We're, we're sitting a little lower. Yeah. You got we're everything doing. way down low. Yeah. Cool. All right. In my headphones. This was a perfect idea to get this out because that's really what I was hoping that you know, because yeah. yeah. that's yeah. basically what I'm what you work out of and what we can talk about. Right, here. right. Yeah. We have some pretty good things. I think we have Hawaiian rolls and a bunch of interesting things mm -hmm. in there. So, do you want to unpack the box? Right, yeah, right. Uh, yes, unless you want to do it on camera or whatever. You, you guys are the ones in charge. So so, so, so if we unpack the box and you tell us how to use everything that's in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we can set this down. Sounds pretty easy for you, David. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you have to do a whole lot. Yeah, it's and we're going to have to eat all of it then. That's what so I that's <laughs> we can put this down until we have the box. Uh, that's kind of what I did. Talk about the I think that's out of his shot. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that would work best. I think if we start with unpacking the box, talking about the, maybe do a little bit intro, introducing you, yeah. introducing yourself. Um, how, do you, do you, you want affiliate? my name tag on or not? I don't have it on. They no, you're good. Oh, you're good. good. Yeah, yeah. No name tags are fine. But okay, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll do like a, a slight introduction <laughs> of everyone, how you started and how you learn about, you know, blessings of hope. Okay, yep. um, kind of feed off each other. Kind of, have a, kind of like a, what we've been doing, but yeah, right? Kind of what you've been doing. So, um, <laughs> and then once that kind of dies down, you can go into the box. You different things. Do we, so, have, a, do we have a knife here to cut the box open? Uh, or maybe you can cut it open before, except yeah. for a tiny little slit. Because we don't, I mean, I have this thing, but it's not really That'll work. Oh, wow, that works better than that. Yeah. And then we can easily pop it open, I, I think. Yeah, like the middles. All right, let me make sure everything is looking good still. Let's just to sync everything up. Once that clap dies down, David, you can start and, and we'll just roll with it there. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. All right, camera 
it ain't rolling. Audio. Welcome to this week's Hopecast. I'm David Lapp, your host, and also the CEO here at Blessings of Hope. Hopecast is where we talk about life, about what happens, what God's doing in our life. So excited to welcome Homestead Tessie with us this week. She has a, a local YouTube channel here and Fanny Byler. Fanny is uh, one of our operations managers here at Blessings of Hope. So you want to share a little bit about your channel as we get started here? Okay. Well, thank you, David. It is such an honor and blessing to be here. I am Homestead Tessie. I started my channel seven years ago, and it was all about learning how to cook food and how to eliminate food waste in your kitchen. I also share about what the Lord has done in my life, and I also share about how we can live frugal lives. And it's very interesting, all of the ways that we can save money. Yeah, and sometimes you have to get creative and utilize what's in front of you, and then and, and that's, that's what you have to cook with. That's right. So, Fanny, you have anything you want to share here in the beginning? Yeah, I'm Fanny. Um, I'm an operations team here, and I try to keep operations going every day here at Blessings of Hope. And so I'm excited to be on the channel and see what God has for us. Just to clarify, she does more than try. She actually makes <laughs> stuff happen. <so. laughs> Thank you, David. Today we're going to unpack a Hands of Hope box, and these ladies are going to tell us how to use what's in the box. So I have no idea what's in the box. I haven't opened it. I don't, we're, we're just going to yeah. see what's in there. The Bible verse for today is out of Hebrews uh, thirteen two. It's on the side of all every one of our boxes. It says to don't show, uh, don't neglect to show hospitality to strangers, because you know sometimes you're you're ministering to angels unaware. And as you go through life, you never know who you're talking to. You never know their story. You never know the impact you can have on their life. But if you treat everybody as if they were a son of God, as if they were somebody that, that you want to honor, somebody that you want to bless, somebody that you want to respect. You can have an impact on these people's lives through, you know, day by day. So with that, we're going to go into our box. We're going to open it up, this box, and see what's in it. So every, every box that goes out, uh, there's a there's a sheet here about product dating facts about product dating and there's also a gospel of John in it and then we're gonna set this box down here and I'm gonna let you pick out what's in there and tell us how to use it <laughs> that sounds right. like fun <laughs> go ahead well, uh, you, I was gonna let you go first okay. you want to go first or you go first well, so we have Hawaiian rolls here and so um, also I'm gonna pull out the bag of apples here. We've been having lots of apples, apples in every um, box since December. And you can make apple butter and eat that on your Hawaiian rolls. You just put it in a crock pot and you put some sugar and um, spices and you let it in the crock pot for 24 hours on low. And then you can eat it on your Hawaiian rolls. So I'm assuming you just mean any kind of spices like oregano oh. or salt or like Good when you question. say spices what are you talking about like I'm talking some, some of us don't know what that means absolutely so i put sugar cinnamon and cloves in there thank you yes you're welcome and then you can also make applesauce from the apples and um you can just if you don't need anything fancy you just have it in your home you just peel them core them and you put them in a kettle and you add just a little bit of water in and cook them till they're soft and put them in the blender and that makes applesauce and Great. you can either freeze that or you can cool pack it and you can uh, Google or YouTube how to do that as well. Well, I can add a little bit yeah, to that. <clears throat> so if you have done a lot of that and you would like to do something different, you can make apple pie filling as well. That you can make into a pie, you can make apple crisp, or you can have it on top of ice cream and really have a good dessert. Sounds good. Now, if you worked with your apples, and you have the peelings left, well, what do you do with that? You don't throw it away. You make apple jelly with the peelings of the apples. So there now, you used every bit of the apple but the seeds and the core. And if you really wanted to use something, you could plant the seeds and have little apple trees that will not give you apples, but you'll have a nice house plant as well. Wow. So I think we pretty much <laughs> have you used up the whole apple. apple. Wow. <laughs> So not only does your bacon feed you, it also can wash your clothing, and it also can wash yourself with it. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, 
Tessie has a YouTube channel as well, Homestead Tessie, where you can, she has all kinds of ideas of how to use different products. I encourage you to check it out, uh, subscribe to her channel as well, and, and you know, just <coughs> learn from what she has to share. Well, good job. Yep. <laughs> so next in the box, what are, what are we going to pull out next, Fanny? Okay, well, we have bread, which can, you can also eat with apple butter or uh, toast or eggs or whatever. And um, then we have, um, this week, it's really exciting. We have a lot of Alfredo sauce that came in, and we had truckloads of that, and we had truckloads of noodles. So that was really exciting for us for a staple in many homes. And Alfredo sauce is sealed and will last you five years. Wow. So that's just you know a couple of the items that are in the box. Anything yeah. else that you want to pull out and talk about? Um, sure. Well, then we have the we actually have beans today, which you could also make a really great uh, dish with beans. You can fry up bacon, add your noodles, your Alfredo sauce, and beans. The full video will be found on their website, and I will share that with you as soon as it is available. Also. This is just the beginning. We have so much I'm going to share with you. I'm going to have exclusive videos showing you the organization, showing you all of the background of how it operates. Also, I'm going to share with you the video about their story. So while a lot of them still dress Amish, they are not part of the Amish church. Fanny, who is sitting beside me, was a little Amish girl and grew up Amish as well. David, as you see, still dresses Amish, but they are not part of the Amish church. And there's quite an amazing story behind it all. I'm asking all of you, my subscribers, who dedicated countless hours in watching my videos, to do me one favor. I have never asked you for things, but I'm asking you today to do one thing for me. Could you go to their YouTube channel, subscribe to them, and watch their videos to help their ministry? By watching your videos, you're going to help them in their adventure on YouTube with sharing with the world what they are doing. God has used them and is continuing to use them in a mighty way. Let them know that Homestead Tessie sent you. I have the remarkable ability to share with the world so many unique things. I've been on YouTube now for seven years and I've established a family of all of you. I think that you will be so inspired by their story and by their life. And that helps me as well because you are helping me share my love and my friendship with others. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. And stay tuned because we have more videos coming your way about this remarkable family that used to be Amish and what they're doing today. I will share with you right here the video all about them. Right here, over there, click on their channel.